I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the website Global Maths Institute and the WhatsApp group. Here is a brilliant question from one of our subscribers. The question is, if you are choosing a random number from 1 to 10,000, what is the probability that the chosen number is going to be multiple of 5? All digits must be different. So I'd like you to actually pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So all digits of the multiples of 5 should be different. That is kind of important to understand, right? And we need a number which is between 1 and 10,000. Perfect multiples of 5. Okay. So let's formalize the strategy first. So strategy is like this. When we say multiple of 5, it means what? It means that the last digit is, is either 0 or it is 5. Correct? So that is one thing. And now we are looking for numbers between 1 to 10,000. That really means that we could have one digit numbers, we could have two digit numbers, we could have three digit numbers, we could have four digit numbers. Can we have five digit number? Let's write down and then figure it out. We could have five digit number. Well, as far as one digit number is there, it is very clear number 5 itself is a one digit number as far as five digit numbers are concerned we have one number which is 10000 right so basically we have one number which is five digit and we have one number which is one digit number now we need to figure out how many numbers will be of two digits how many of three digits and how many of four digits remember all these numbers will be two types where the ending number digit will be either 5 or 0 right so so the last digit could be either 5 or 0 so from here we can see that we have five cases right so the case one is let's write down in our sample space the favorable numbers which are multiples of 5 we want without repetition, right? So one digit number, we have one. As far as five digit numbers, we have five. And now we need to work out how many two digit, how many three digit, and how many four digit numbers are there. Now, two digit numbers. Since we have only one position left for us, then in that position, if five is the last digit, how many numbers can you place here? Well, the numbers could be 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and not 0 also, right? If I write 0, I get the number 5, which is already included. So now, I could put 8 numbers here, perfect. But if I have 0 as my last digit, I could put 9 numbers, and total of this will be 8 plus 9, and that is 17. So we get 17 numbers, which are two-digit numbers, right? How about the three-digit numbers? Well, similar strategy. We have already five and the number, zero at the end. And now, if I want to make a two-digit number, in that case, with five at the end, I could have eight combinations with the first one. And now in the second one, I could put zero also, right? So two numbers out of 10 have been taken, eight are left. However, if we have zero in the last digit, we could have one of these nine numbers in the beginning. And once these nine numbers, one of them is fixed and zero is fixed, we are left with eight. So in this particular case, with three digit numbers, we have eight times eight, 64 plus 9 times 8, 78 combinations, right? 
So those are the total numbers. Now we need to work out the numbers with four digit. Now in case of four digit, going with the same strategy, we have two cases, one ending with five, the other one ending with zero. So if it is ending with five, you cannot place zero here. So we have eight, eight, and once zero has been included, now we are left with seven. If the ending is zero, in that case, we have nine possibilities, one to nine, and once these two numbers are fixed, we have eight and then seven. So now product of this will be the combinations, right? So let's multiply them. So we'll do eight times eight times seven. That gives us a number which is 448. So from the first combination, we get 448 plus the next one is nine times eight times seven. So we'll do nine times eight times seven and that gives us 504. Perfect. So, so these are total number which are favorable. Correct. Now we can add them up to get the total favorable, right? So, so n with five will be one plus seventeen plus sixty four plus seventy two plus four four eight plus five or four plus one, and that number is. Let's add this up. One plus 17 plus 64 plus 72 plus 448 plus 504 plus 1 1107 1107 are the total favorable cases for this and clearly then what is the probability well, in that case, the probability for getting 5 without repetition, right? Let me write without repetition in short form, should be the ratio of these two, which is 11 over 7 divided by 10,000. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. So what we get, our answer is that the probability will be 11 over O seven divided by 10,000. Clear? So I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time. All the best.